my name is Aya Dele Irvindade and I am currently a fourth seat trainee at Clyde & Co. Um, my final seat is being completed in the employment department, but I spent my previous seats in real estate, aviation liability and international trade. So I've been around a bit in the firm and I've got um, some good experiences as well in the various seats. My name is Sarah and I am a second seat trainee currently sat in the marine department at Clyde Co. What drew me to law, and it's a very interesting question because when I was younger, I had a wide range of things that I wanted to do. But one thing that I always knew is that I loved public speaking and um, um, I wasn't argumentative, but I did love a good debate. So I thought, you know, law would be a good kind of profession for me. And in terms of why Clyde Co in particular, I actually had the opportunity to visit the firm while I was at university. It was one of about 10 firms that I visited. And, you know, it sounds so cliche, but when you know, you know. And I just got a really good vibe from the people I met there. I liked, I liked the fact that I could get a good insight into the culture. And as well as that, having come from an international law background, Clyde Co was the first port of call for international law for me. So that was something that really interested me and drew me to the firm. So luckily for us, our office has actually opened up again. So I'm actually in the office right now and that's been really nice to um, move away from working from home and come into the office and be able to meet other trainees and meet associates and partners. Um, I usually get into the office or log on around 8.30, 9 a.m., depending on how busy I am. And um, the first thing I do is to check my emails and to check in with my supervisor or any associates that I'm working on and to make sure that there's nothing urgent or anything pressing that needs attending to immediately. Um, the variety of work that you guys are training in Clyde is very wide and very uh, impressive. And it also depends a lot, depending on the nature of the department that you're sitting in. Um, a variety of work that trainees do get involved in um, that I've had experience with include um, drafting letters to clients, but also drafting instructions to counsel and experts. Um, and also a lot of typical trainee tasks are researching, um, calling chambers and bundling or disclosure work. So the most exciting project that I worked on was actually in the property cyber insurance team in my first seat. I worked in the cyber team and I was able to assist on this matter, which involved representing a high street retail store that was involved in a ransomware attack. Um, the attacker uh, managed to get uh, managed to hack its way into the system and steal data from our clients. And uh, it was a very thrilling, time critical uh, piece of work and I really enjoyed um, the whole experience of it. I enjoyed it because of the ability to work with other experts in different fields such as forensic accountants, IT, PR and agencies that deal with the ransomware attack itself and the developing nature of this area of law was also something that really interested me. I think the main thing is to just have an idea, first of all, of kind of what area of law you'd like to get into. So um, if you have a particular interest in commercial law, then you can look at resources such as Bright Network or just online and have a quick look around at the firms that you think you'd be interested in going to. Um, I mean, that's if you haven't necessarily studied law before. And I think people are such a great resource and um, stalk people on LinkedIn. Don't be afraid to reach out to people who might um, be in the field that you think you want to potentially go into. So that's definitely idea. I think just talking to people. Um, and then in terms of the skills that are important to cultivate, um, obviously they're the obvious ones like communication skills and organizational skills, but I don't think you can underestimate the importance of like being a team player. I think that's 
potentially the most important skill I've had to use. I think technical legal skills are almost a given. Um, you know, people will expect you to be able to write well, clearly, but just how you deal with people, because it is a very client facing role and um, people often forget that in law you're providing a service. So you and you're providing that service even to companies, but behind those companies are people. Um, so both externally and internally with your colleagues, um, I think being a team player is definitely one of the, if not the most important thing in, um, in this industry. What actually was the main challenge was, um, you know, separating work from life. Um, I was always very tempted to, you know, stay on and keep working throughout the night, especially because it was lockdown and there was nothing better to do. Um, but also tempted to check my, you know, laptop since it was right there after work. Um, and what I've realized over the past few months is, is that it's really important to take time for yourself as well. Um, I guess to make sure that you don't burn out. But um, it's really, I really appreciate weekends now and I need to, I am still learning to um, take time to myself and to take my holidays. Um, so yeah, that's been something I haven't really expected. I think the first thing would be to breathe, <laughs> genuinely, like honestly breathe, because it's so nerve wracking. I'm trying to think back to my first day. Um, yeah, I think so. I was in the Guildford office in my first seat, so that I was also moving to like a different kind of place <laughs> within the UK. So that was something else as well. But just, um, you know, remembering that it's your first day, like, don't put too much pressure on yourself to you know impress straight away but obviously you know you want to do well so yeah it's definitely important to ask as many questions as possible and um, people will always be on hand to help if you need it and I definitely put so much pressure on myself to you know do well um, and you know you do want to do well but nobody's expecting you to know everything so I'd say definitely breathe ask questions um, and, you know, find those people within your team or within the firm that you can kind of go to if you have any questions. And the firm is absolutely fantastic. There's very much an open door policy. So even at the stage of my VAC scheme, people were so helpful. So yeah, be armed with all the questions that you have um, and just ask away because that's definitely, that definitely puts you at ease when you know you know that you can go to somebody if you need help. What I always say is that I just love the variety. Um, so waking up every day and not necessarily knowing what's <laughs> gonna be on your table, I find that really exciting. Um, and I just, for me, I'm more so into contentious work. So I particularly like um, the feeling of, you know, putting your case together and then potentially working out like settlement options and then if not going to trial. Um, so I find that really, really rewarding. Um, and I like to think of myself as a, pe a people person. So getting to work with people daily um, is definitely something that I enjoy getting to bounce ideas off my team members and you know, being able to come together to achieve like a bigger goal is something that I find really fulfilling. So I'd say that's probably the main thing that I like about the job. It's just getting to work with really great people and, and getting to work on really big cases that, you know, you might see in the news and you're like, oh my God, I, I did something. <laughs> I did something on that. So that's for me what I find rewarding and that's why I um, like my job.